<laughs> okay, hello everyone. Um, back in the shed again. <laughs> no surprise. So look, I've been um, messing around with the stove again. Uh, what I did was, you might remember that it had a square section flue on it before, okay? I had to change it because I wasn't getting enough draw on it. I wanted to check, um, I wanted to try something different to be honest. Uh, I couldn't increase the flow without getting very, very smoky and me not getting any appreciable uh, extra output. Now, look, I haven't got the baffle set up properly in here yet. I just finished it, I uh, put the bits and pieces back in it and I fired it up. This is what I have, look at that. That's the back of it glowing red. Now, I need to set up some baffles um, so I can direct the heat where I want it. But uh, even without switching off the light, uh, I need to plug that hole in. I had to slide the, uh, the pipe up a little bit, so I just cut a slot. But it's got a band of red hot around it. Now, you know, when it's red, cherry red like that, I, I don't know what temperature it is. It has to be in excess of five anyway. 500 degrees C, that's, that's about a thousand. There you go, look. Can you see that? Six something, 657. Uh, 699, 703 degrees. Okay, so that's where, when it's cherry red, it's 700 plus. Okay, the flue over here, what can you see? The flue over here is red hot as well. Now, it's not baffled out properly, right? And uh, I turned up the juice just to see what the story was, you know, see what I could get out of it again. I'm prototyping, so, you know, I don't know what that is on top. I'm not overly directing the, the uh, you know, the heat to the top properly. I just threw in some bits and pieces into it to see what I could get out of it. But as you can see, savage heat. Now I'm looking at smoke on the inside of the eyes. So it's a little bit smoky. Um, I'm overdriving it a little bit. Okay, so that's the stream of oil going in. At that rate, I don't know. You know, in excess of probably two, three liters of air. Um, look, when I get to the stage that I, uh, I have this running per perfectly, if I can get it to there, um, I'll quantify how much oil it's actually burning. But, turned it down now it's going about 20 minutes I have to say uh, what's gonna happen now is the eyes are gonna get so hot that they'll clear you know that it'll burn the smoke off it um, so there you go it's burning really hot now you know um, somebody said you know that I might be loading up the uh, the oil you know that but look this is prototyping um, I get out of it what I get out of it um, you see what I see and um, this is only minutes after me changing the flue from uh, four inch box which would be four by four 16 square inches versus five inch um, five inch flexi flue and so on that's this stuff here right and that goes up to a six inch flue here so anyway you know a five inch flue is going to give me roughly 20 inches 19 point something nearly 20 inches of um, of uh, you know surface area versus 16 inches of surface area so it's quite a, quite a difference uh, I noticed the difference on the draw on the thing so there you go look Mr. Minion holy yeah you know <laughs> look this is mental you know obviously this thing is throwing out serious serious heat okay uh, you can see it you don't even have to feel it and um, Turn it down a bit more if I can. Yeah. It's okay. Can you see that? Um, I don't know what you can see. It's kind of. Look, that's very, very skinny flame. Now there is a bit in it, or it's a very, very skinny thread, like you know, uh, oil feed, and uh, the heat out of it is tremendous. Yeah, as I said, the glass cleared. I can actually see through it now. Um, the one on the left is clearing, and I'm going to go out and check the smoke situation. Okay, so there's plenty of smoke. <laughs> right, so we still have a bit to do. But look, it's promising. I don't know if it's going to be the end all and be all, but it's, it's very good. There's plenty of output. Um, I would have thought that with all that red, um, you know, that the side walls being red and all the, you know, the, the superheated um, internals, 
that we would be getting um, zero smoke. But uh, currently that's not the way it is. We're getting uh, quite a bit of smoke outside. Um, but as I said, I haven't set up the baffled situation inside. I, I can't really get to it either, it's too hot. Um, so I need to do a few things with it tomorrow. And uh, on, on and on and on we go. The burner unit now, I might, might increase the surface area of that. Um, just so it's got more uh, surface area to burn, um, you know, possibly cleanly. Um, but it's very bright um, and turbulent. It's, it's, you know, in the burn chamber. Uh, sounds almost like a rocket stove. And in some ways, it's, it's very like one. So, okay, just thought I'd give you an update. Um, there you go. I've turned down the level of oil on it down to down to that if you can see that I don't know and <laughs> and that's what we've got around the back holy god right so <clears throat> cherry red I'm not lashing oil into this this is um, I don't have a lot of oil to be honest and um, I don't have the valve opened um, I'm not trying to conceal anything this is what I say So, all right, so you're probably sick of hearing me now at this stage. Okay, so there you go. Um, one cherry red minion, well, at least quite a bit of it. And um, if you look, you can probably see the, uh, the oil feed. Let's see. Okay, so that's what's going into it, and you can see it's cherry red. Um, so, if you liked the video, want to see more of them, if I can do anything more with it, I will. And I'll see you all in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.